Welcome to our first lesson on locus. Uh, today we are going to discuss why on the construction of a 60 degree and a 90 degree uh, using the geometrical tools. So here uh, we need a 30 centimeter ruler, then a canvas. So uh, this is my canvas, this is my pencil, and a 30 centimeter ruler. So uh, we are going to construct a 60 degree first, 60 degree angle first. So here, uh, uh, this is my line. This is my line. Then I will mark two points. So firstly, uh, this is my first point for constructing uh, 60 degrees angle. So I want to construct this to the right. Uh, this is my right side. So I want to construct 60 degrees to the right. And here I want to construct a 90, 90 degrees angle. So therefore, uh, this is my uh, uh, this is my canvas so I'm inserting my pencil uh, uh, which must be slightly shorter than the canvas needle so this is how we we put our pencil in the canvas Therefore, constructing a 60 degree here, uh, the first thing is to point the point where uh, my 60 degree uh, will be constructed. Then draw the first arc. So this is my first arc. Something like a quarter circle. So uh, the next step here uh, will be to put my needle here. Without uh, changing the the gap here, so then I will construct a small arc here. Then join a line from the point from this point to the point where the. Uh, the construction crosses constructed axe crosses so this will be my line so this means this is a 60 degrees you can prove this by by measuring with a constructor so let me measure with a constructor so this is my protractor Then you can see that uh, this passing through 60, 60 degrees. So, uh, which means this is my 60 degree construction. Then on 90 degrees, this point here, on 90 degrees, I want to construct a 90 degrees here. So the first thing is to mark the points. So my needle here will come to the point where 90 degrees will be constructed. Then I will mark my points of construction. So these are the two points. Then I will extend the gap here to make it easy for a 90 degree construction. So you can see my gap. Your canvas must be tight here. So the next step I will put my needle here, then construct a, a continuous arc here, this is my continuous arc, then secondly 
to this point, this marked point. So the next point will be to join my two points of intersections. And this must be pass through the point, this point where we first mark the axe, so here will be 90 degrees. So that's how we construct a 90 degree and that's how we construct a 60 point. So here uh, it does not matter if this pass through inside the first marked points here or outside what me, uh, what matters is to maintain the the compass point so that's basically how we construct a 60 degree and a 90 degree